Shalom. I hope you all are doing well. I am blessed and I'm back again with a quick video. Today, I simply want to share some uplifting words and some Bible verses that will encourage you. Normally, at the end of my videos, I try to remind you all of Matthew chapter 24 and verse 13, where it reads, But he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. Now the Most High is reminding us that we're going to go through some things, but He wants us to make it into the kingdom. Because endure means to suffer something painful or difficult patiently. And this is why the Most High tells us to endure, because He knew that we would go through all of these difficult trials and tribulations while waiting on His kingdom to come. When I painted this picture about a year ago, in my spirit, I felt the joy of finally making it into the kingdom. Stepping out of a dark and wicked world and into a kingdom of love and light. The kingdom of heaven already exists and awaits the arrival of the saints. In Yehuchanan or John chapter 14, verse three, Yahushua said, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. The kingdom of heaven is prepared for those who keep Yahuwah's commandments and believe on his only begotten son, the black Messiah, Yahushua. There is no other way to make it into the kingdom Revelations chapter 22 and verse 14 says, Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. If this verse can be found in the last book of the Bible in which they call the New Testament, why are the lying pastors telling their congregations that the commandments are done away with? The filthy, lying, demonic spirits in many of these pastors are leading their congregation straight to hell. Because Revelations 22 and 14 says, Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they're the ones who are going to have the right to the tree of life. They are the ones who will enter into the kingdom of heaven. This is why the scriptures say, Those who have an ear, let them hear not hear the lion pastors, but hear this truth. Those of us who stand strong on Yahuwah's word, we're the ones who are going to enter into the land. Those who are being led by Pastor Pork will surely be cut off from the inheritance of the land. Psalms chapter 37 and verse 34 reads, Wait on Yahuwah and keep his way and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, thou shalt see it. To wait on the Most High is to endure all of these tribulations until his kingdom comes. And to keep his way is to keep his commandments while we wait on him to redeem us. It says that he shall lift us up and we shall inherit the land. But the wicked, those are the ones who do not keep his commandments, they're going to be cut off from the kingdom of heaven. Yahuwah sees all the pain and suffering that his people are going through. That's why he urges us to wait patiently upon him. Psalms 37 and 7 reads, Rest in Yahuwah and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prosper in his way because of the man who bring wicked devices to pass. The Most High is telling us to take rest in him because he knows what we're going through. He's talking to an oppressed people. And when he says, fret not, he's telling us not to worry about those who are prospering in their evil ways because he will soon cut them off from their wickedness. And all of their traps, snares, and evil devices will be used to their own demise. 
Through all of our affliction, trials and tribulations, the Most High continues to remind us that we need to be patient and await for His arrival. In James chapter 5, verse 7 through 8, it reads, Be patient, therefore, brethren, until the coming of Yahuwah. Behold, the husbandmen wait for his precious fruit on the earth, and had long patience for it, until he received the early and latter rain. Be ye also patient, establish your hearts, for the coming of Yahuwah draw nigh. These verses are telling us to be patient until the coming of Yahuwah, and to be like the farmer who waits for the precious produce of the soil and remains patient until the field receives the early and late rains. Why do Yahuwah keep reminding us to be patient and wait for Him? Because He knows through all the trials and tribulations, it is so hard to stand firm on what is true. There are so many reasons that people might lose hope. When a wife leaves a marriage, when a husband leaves his marriage, when a child is abandoned, when parents lose a child, when loved ones suffer from an addiction, divorce, death, health issues, job issues, forced vaccinations, etc., etc. There are so many things that could potentially cause someone to stumble in their faith. And this is why Yahuwah says, He that endures unto the end, the same shall be saved. Because he that can endure all these trials and tribulations throughout their earthly life, those are the ones who are going to make it into the kingdom. Furthermore, Yahuwah says that his power works best in those who are weak. 2 Corinthians chapter 12 and 9 reads, And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Hamashiach may rest upon me. In other words, I'd gladly suffer trials and tribulations, and have the power of Hamashiach rest upon me, than to live comfortably in richness and favor without Yeshua's presence in my life. Yahushua also promises to bring us peace in a chaotic, wicked world. John 16 and 33 reads, These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation. But be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. So now we understand why the Most High continues to tell us to wait upon Him and be patient and endure until the end. We have an ultimate goal that we must reach and we cannot let anything stop us. In Jeremiah chapter 29 and verse 11, it reads, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, said Yahuwah, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. The expected end is everlasting life and keys to the kingdom of heaven. But this is not for everyone Yahuwah is only making this promise to those who keep his commandments. Proverbs chapter 7 and verse 2. And it reads, Keep my commandments and live, and my law as the apple of thine eye. Many people may be thinking that this verse is talking about the life and death of our earthly bodies. While the commandments will help keep us protected here on earth, Yahuwah is also talking about eternal life. Believing on the black Hamashiach and keeping Yahuwah's commandments to the best of our ability is the only way that we can make it into the kingdom. Yahuwah made these promises to his people, the children of Israel, the so-called black people who are being oppressed, the ones who fit the curses of Deuteronomy 28. He's talking to a nation of people who are suffering and being afflicted. If you take a look at 2 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 4, it reads, Who comfort us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble 
by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of Elohim. No other nation of people can identify with all the affliction that the so-called black people have had to endure. Therefore, we can confidently conclude that Yahuwah must be talking to the nation of people who need to be comforted, the so-called black people, the true Hebrew Israelites. Before I say Shalom, let's take a look at three more verses in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 16-18. through 18. And it reads, For which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, work for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. So while this affliction might cause our flesh to perish, our spirit is renewed every day. This affliction is but for a moment and worth enduring for eternal glory. As we prepare ourselves for the kingdom daily, we must not look at the things that we can visibly see. This will discourage us, but we must keep our mind focused on what it is we can't see, and that is the kingdom of heaven that is coming down. Everything that we can see with our eyes here in this world is temporary, but the kingdom of heaven is eternal. May you be in peace and might you be patient as you wait upon the Most High. And although enduring until the end is going to be difficult, Yahuwah says that he that endures until the end shall be saved. Thank you for listening. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And may Yahuwah bless you and keep you and your family safe in these very dark times. And until my next video, Shalom.